Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello, welcome. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, welcome. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Yes. yes. Good. Okay, today it is 17, October 17. So let's start the class number, it's the class 18, 18. Okay, so, well, welcome. Uh, right now we are 10 in Zoom, so let's start the class. All right. During this class, we're going to go over the indirect questions. Also, we're going to study a little bit about the previous vocabulary from lesson from unit number three. Okay. Okay, a little bit about the vocabulary we studied previously. Okay, well. Okay, let's start. For example, here we have, uh, I'm sorry, here we have the work that we studied previously. For example, a mixed, right? To combine substances, elements, things. Etc. Okay, mix. That is a synonym of this is uh, to combine. To combine. Okay, quality control. Quality control. A system for verifying and maintaining a desired level of quality in a product or process by careful planning, use, or proper equipment, continue inspection and corrective action as are required. Filter, okay. It is to remove, filter, okay, to remove. Okay, that is a synonym, okay, filter. Okay, and capping, do you, do you remember? Uh, you were asking for this word. Capping. Tapita. <laughs> exactly. Capping is anything resembling or suggestive or a conveying for the head in shape, use, or position, a cap on a bottle. Okay. So here we have the capping. The capping. Also, we have the labeling. Okay, a slip of paper, clothes, or other material attached to something to indicate its manufacture, the kind of thing it is, its ownership, etc. Okay, leveling. Leveling. Okay, also we have packing. Packing, a number of things wrapped together for easy handling. A number of things wrapping wrapped together for easy handle. Okay, do you know what wrapped is or wrap? Okay, wrapped is envuelto en. Envuelto en. Wrapped. 
Okay, also we have, ah, today we're going to see this welding. Okay, welding, it is building, okay, a metallurist unit, metal or plastic pieces by hammering or squeezing them together. Example, after applying heat. Okay, so we have welding, 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 it can be like soldar. Okay, cast. Cast, an object made by shaping a molten metals or similar material in a mold. A bronze cast of the sculpture. Okay, press, press working, press working. It is to put pressure on something, uh, for example, so as to change shape or size. Press working, press working. Machinery, okay? It is a group of people or a system by which action is maintained or by which some result is obtained. Okay, and also we have massive manufacturing. Massive manufacturing. Mass, it is mass production refers to the manufacturing of a large one quantity of product using efficient methods. That is mass production. Okay, and also we have, we're going to use the manual. Okay, so, Give me a second. We're going to use the manual. Today we're gonna have, uh, let me see. Okay, hold on please. And also we're going to review the indirect and direct and indirect questions. Direct and indirect questions. Well, okay, right now I'm gonna start taking the tender list. All right, uh, Benitez Ventura. Present teacher. Marroquín Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you, Lopez Perez. Present. Florentino Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you, Alvarez Mejia. Present teacher. Good, Miranda Rodriguez. Present. Abelar Cortez. Present. Valdez Gómez. Here, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Tavarria. Pre Present. Merino González. Merino González. Present. Ramírez Arevalo. Ramírez Arevalo, Cuellar de Barrientos, present teacher. Ventura de Valdés, present teacher. Alicia Gertrudis, present. Escamilla Jurado, Mancia Gutiérrez, present teacher. Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Vázquez Romero. Vázquez Romero. Flores Hernández. Present teacher. García Orellana. Present. Um, Vázquez Vázquez. Gómez García. Gómez García, Orellana del Cid. Present teacher. Good. Okay, well, we're going to review the indirect questions. The indirect questions. Okay, direct and indirect question. Tell me, what are 
indirect questions. I'm sorry, this one direct. What are direct questions? And there are the normal question, that W question. Exactly, the normal question, okay. Uh, it, for example, this kind of question are very used. Uh, among our friends, our family. Okay, so it is kind of informal and are used for people who we know well. For example, where is the bathroom? Where is the bathroom? That is direct question. Then we have indirect questions. The indirect questions are a little a little more formal and polite. We use them when we talking to a person we don't know very well or in a professional situation and their form is a little different. For example, this sounds more polite. Um, the, the, the tense or the sense of this question is formal, very formal. Okay, and you can, you can use it in professional situations or professional environment. For example, with your with your boss, with your co-workers, with a client, with a customer, you can use this kind of question. For example, could you tell me where the bathroom is? Can you tell me where the bathroom is? That is on that is an indirect question. Also, we use some phrases for indirect question. These phrases help us to begin the, the question, the indirect question. And we have, could you tell me? Could you tell me? Also, we have, do you know? Do you know? I was wondering. I was wondering. Do you have any idea? Do you have any idea? Also, we have, I like to know, I like to know, would it be possible? Would it be possible? Is there any chance? Is there any chance? Okay, so those are phrases that we use for indirect questions. Indirect questions. Okay, can you give me one indirect question using, could you tell me? Can you give me a question using, could you tell me? Create an indirect question using, could you tell me? Please. Could you tell me where is the, the bank? Okay, excellent. Just remember, uh, we can have two, two questions in the same. All right, so for instance, you told me, tell me where now the subject could you tell where? me where the bank is perfect much better excellent okay could you tell me where the bank is another example you seen a uh, do you know do you know and make a sentence you seen do you know <laughs> Do you know what the number of pages is? Can you repeat it, please? Do you do you know what number of page is? Excellent. What 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 number of page is? Perfect. Okay. How about I was wondering. I was wondering. Can you create an indirect question using this phrase? I was wondering I was wondering if you can help me. Excellent. I was wonder wondering if you could help me. Perfect. 
Okay, so those are indirect, indirect questions. Here we have, here we have direct question. Where is Balmaceda Street? The indirect. Could you tell me well where Balmaceda Street is? Me pueden darse cuenta en la pregunta indirecta al incorporar una frase introductoria como could you tell me el verbo to be de la pregunta directa se va a colocar después de el sujeto. Después del sujeto. En la clase anterior vimos que habían preguntas que tenían ya complemento, entonces quedaba un poquito larga. Y ahí creo que existía la duda de a dónde colocar el verb to be o otro, u otro verbo. En este caso va a ir después de el sujeto. Okay? Aunque tengamos complemento. Ok. What time does the bank open? Tell me the indirect question. Do you know what time the bank opens? Opens. Exactly. You know. Do you know what time the bank opens? Opens. Okay. Why do we add S? ¿Por qué le agregamos S al verbo en este caso? Para eliminar el auxiliar das. Excelente. Para eliminar el auxiliar das, ya que no podemos tener dos preguntas, eliminamos das y si es tercera persona, tenemos que agregarle S o S al verbo. Ok. So here it says, in indirect question, we don't use the auxiliary verb, do, does, or did. Ooh. Okay, direct, why did you move to Chile? Why did you move to Chile? The sentence yeah, is in Why did you take me to Chile? Chile. One more time, please. One more time. Could you tell me why you moved to Chile? Perfect. Why you moved to Chile? Excellent. I was wondering. Okay. You tell. You use. I could you tell me? It's okay. Why you moved to Europe? Perfect. To Chile. To El Salvador. Okay, again, there is no auxiliary verb did in the indirect question. We eliminate the auxiliary. How much does the iPhone 7 cost? What is the indirect question? I like to know how much the iPhone 7 cost. Excellent. I like to know how much the iPhone 7 cost. Perfect. Again, we eliminate the auxiliary das and we add s to the verb. Can you finish the project by tomorrow? Well, this is another kind of question. Add the yes or no question. Yes or no question. Este tipo de pregunta dijimos que vamos a agregar if. ¿verdad? Porque la respuesta no, solo, no, no puede ser eh, contestada con sí o no. Por ejemplo, do you know if Tom likes Italian food? Perdón, en este sí tiene que contestar sí o no. En las demás puede variar la respuesta. Do you know if Tom likes Italian food? ¿Sabes si a Tom le gusta la comida italiana? If Tom... Another example, are your parents joining us for the dinner? Could you tell me if your parents are joining us for dinner? Okay, well, uh, where is the nearest bank? Let's remember this example we did in the previous class. Uh, help me answering, uh, rewrite the sentence without changing the meaning using indirect questions. Mm 
Do you know where the nearest bank is? Very good. Number two, why is that little baby crying? Do you know why that little baby is crying? Excellent. Three. I like to know if there is any water here. Perfect. Four. Is he coming tomorrow? Do you know if he is coming tomorrow? Excellent. How many cars does she have? How many cars that does she have? Could you one. tell me? Go ahead. Could you tell me, me how many cars she has? Okay, and do they like swimming? Do they like swimming? Do you, do you know if they like swimming? Okay, do you know if they like swimming? Perfect, that is a yes, no question. What does she want? What does do you know want? what does she want? Excellent. Do you know what, what she wants? What she wants. Tenemos que eliminar el auxiliar does. Okay. En las preguntas indirectas, para que no exista doble pregunta. Entonces, al eliminar el auxiliar, el verbo regresa a su forma infinita. Bueno, a su forma, pero agregándole S, porque es tercera persona, que es she. Entonces, she wants. Or I would like to know what she wants. Okay. Here you have the sentence, here you have the answers. Could you tell me what she, could you tell me what she wants? Do you know if they like swimming? Do you know how many how many cars she has? Could you tell me if he is coming tomorrow? Do you know if there is any water here? Do you know why that little baby is crying? Could you tell me where the nearest bank is? Okay, so there we have the indirect questions. Okay, and also we have this exercise, this exercise from the, in the textbook. Okay, but we're going to keep practicing. Hold on, please. Okay, can you see my presentation? Yes. Good. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we we need to change. We need to make an indirect question using the statement the statement that is at the beginning. So it says you want to know what time it is. Okay, make an indirect question. Do you know what 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 time is it? Okay, do you know what time oh. it what time it is? Perfect. Okay, you need to find the nearest bank. You need to find the nearest bank. How would you make the indirect question?
Do you know where is the the nearest bank? Where is? Where the nearest bank? Where the nearest bank is? Yes. One more time, please. Mr. Angel. Do you know where the the nearest bank is? Perfect. Excellent. Okay, you can carry all your shopping to your car. You can carry all your shopping to car, to your car. Make an indirect question. And you have to find the car, maybe? Oh, oh, what is the situation? The, the problem is that you can carry all your shopping to your car, so you might... Ah, yeah. Yeah, I got you. Um, could you um, help me to carry, uh, I don't know, carry something? Okay, yeah. so can you help me to carry my shopping to my car? Good, okay. Yeah. You don't know you don't know which bus to take to get to another neighborhood. You don't know which bus to take to get to another neighborhood. How would you make an okay. indirect question? Um and could you tell me what is the um, the bus road? Um, Could you tell me what is? What is the um, the uh, correct bus? Okay. What I have to take? You are making two questions. Two questions in one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you need to switch the position of the verb to be after the subject. Well, try one more time. You can do it. Um, okay. Uh, could you tell me um, what bus? I don't know. Yes. What? Uh, yeah. Sylvia, which, could you tell me which, uh -huh. which, which bus ah, yeah. I have to take? I have. I have. <laughs> I have. To, to my neighborhood. Yeah? <laughs> I have. I have. I have to, to take, take oh, to okay. get to another neighborhood. Okay, one more time. Try it. One more, one more time. <laughs> could, could you tell me which bus? I have to take to get to another neighborhood. Okay, good. Sounds good. Very good. Good, okay. Charlie. You don't, you don't know how the parking meters works. You don't know how to the how the parking meter works. Can you tell me? How? How parking mirrors works? Work. Easy. Can you tell me how the parking matter works? Okay, you are hungry and you want to find a good place to eat. Where do they sell to food? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But you need Bye, to, you need to, <laughs> okay. Um, could you tell me where the best way a pupusa is? Excellent. Okay, good. Very good. And the end. Okay, that was the speaking part of indirect questions direct and indirect question. We're going to keep practicing.
Okay, I'm gonna share my screen. Okay, this is a this is a document. This is a document. I'm gonna I will project I will project the exercises and also I'm going to send the exercises in here in the chat. Okay. In case in case you can uh, let's say this. By the WhatsApp chat, please, teacher. Sorry. I'm going to share a screen for you to take okay. to take a screenshot. In that way, you can do the exercise. Good. Can you see it? Can you see them? Yeah, the very small letter. I'm sorry. Good. How about now? Okay, take any screenshot. Okay, that is, we, we, there are 12, there are 12. Take any screenshot. Now I'm going to scroll down. Okay. Take another screenshot. Okay, do you have the sentences now? Do you have the sentences? Yes. yes. Good. Okay. If you need the document here, also, I'm going to try to send it by the chat. Hold on. Well, I can't. I don't know what happened. Okay. So we're going to complete the, the sentences. There are 12, 12 sentences. So is it okay five minutes to complete the sentences? Okay. Ten minutes. Okay. Of right Ten to minutes. <laughs> okay. We're going to do something. We're going to have five minutes individually. Okay. And five minutes in group. Okay. Try to solve them by your own first, and then you will have the chance to uh, support each other with your classmates. Okay. okay. Let's. The time starts now.
Okay, now that you work alone, we're going to have the time to work in group.
final va el verbo al final va el verbo el, el, el verbo to be entonces verdad yeah. okay okay the number two is uh, can you let me know if you are coming to to the party no no uh, please can you tell me now if you coming to the party are no it's if you are if you are if, if, you, if you are if you are coming if you are, if you coming. are coming ah entonces sería can you can you let me now if you are coming can you let me now if you are coming if you are coming to the party Exactly, exactly. Teacher, in, in, in the verb to be, in this case, is isn't at the end. No, it is uh, It is after the, the subject. The subject. Ah, okay, in the first question, uh, is, uh, the, the is, is, is at the end, right? I'm sorry, the what? Um, in the first question. Um, can you tell me where the station is? Exactly, because we don't have complement. Okay. But in number two, are you coming to the party? Uh, the subject is you, right? You are mm -hmm. coming okay. to the party. So can you let me know if you are coming to the party? Okay. And number three, can you explain how it's going? How, how it works. works. How it works. Uh -huh. Exactly. Works, eh, verdad, en este sería works con, con la S, verdad. Así es. Así okay. es. Muy bien. Que eliminamos yeah. el auxiliar, eliminamos el, el auxiliar. Das, verdad. El das, lo eliminamos. Ok. Ok. El sí. number four. Uh, please tell me what the pro the problem is excellent bingo number okay. five read you read, read it number a uh, number four no. five five up uh, on five okay number five i like I to like know no i like to know a uh, where is from oh my god where are you where 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 you where you from where where you are from I said, yeah. where are you from where are you from okay where are you from okay ah uh, where you are from where you are from mm -hmm. okay number six do you know how long how long it takes to get there? One more time. Do you know how long it takes to get there? It takes. Take. With it S. Takes to get takes. there. Mm -hmm. Takes. Ah, with S. Because it is it. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. It's take to get there. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. Okay. Sí, esto está raro. I wonder, I wonder whether. I wonder. I wonder whether, whether any knows about computer. I think it's I wonder whether. Annie knows about computer because it's third person. You add s to the verb. And exactly. and exactly. and may. E, I think with if that same. No, I think not. I Por think ejemplo, it's not yo, is. Yo creo, yo creo que sí. Bueno. Mm. Yo creo que sí, pero bueno. I wonder whether. 
Teacher, I, I have a question. Tell me, tell me. Mm, I was this I was discussed with Jose Rene about the number the number five. He say I would like to know where you are from. Exactly, where you are from. Because we need to switch with, out the position. Are you and you are from? Mm. So I like to know where you are from. Where you are from. Exactly. Okay, it is saying that, do you have any idea what you are doing? That is number? Seven. Do you have any okay. idea what you are doing? Exactly, what you are doing. Do you have any okay. idea what we're doing? Okay, thank you so much, teacher. Teacher. <clears throat> Como, como saber para cuando lleva el if porque se puede decir sin eso y con o no perdón cuando se cuando lleva if cuando lleva if pero eso, eso va a depender de la pregunta mis. hay preguntas por ejemplo que se pueden contestar sí o no verdad Y hay otro tipo de pregunta que necesita más información, que no puede ser contestada solo con sí o no. Entonces, por ejemplo, en esas que pueden ser, esas que son, van a ser contestadas como sí o no, vamos a tener que utilizar if, que significa sí. Uh, por ejemplo, veamos. Déjame, déjame. La número nueve, I, I, bueno, sé, ya está, whether, que es un sinónimo de if. But um, could you tell me how long it has now? Sería, ajá, la nueve. I wonder sí, whether sabe. if, porque esta pregunta si sabe sobre la computadora. Entonces, sí o no. Sí, lo que pasa es que acá la nueve, uy, pensé que estaba compartiendo. La nueve, la palabrita weather, W-H-E-T-H-R. Ese es un sinónimo de if. If lo puede utilizar. Entonces, ahí ya está... Ya está, vaya, whether or if significan lo mismo. Entonces ahí ya está agregado. Porque whether es como que ya sea. Y el Ajá. if yo lo interpreto como que sí. al, al decir yo creo sí, en mi conoce sobre computadoras, o si no sería I, yo, yo sé. Ahí no. puede decir también, I wonder if Annie knows about computer. Y también puede decir, I wonder whether Annie knows about computers. Ah, ok. ¿Se puede dar cuenta? Esta, la número 9 no comienza con WH question. No comienza con what, where. Entonces, esa es, usualmente son las que llevan if. Ok, thanks. Es algo complicado este tema, teacher. Confundo. <risas> sí, lo que pasa es que hay que cambiar las posiciones de, de la sure. descomponer la oración. Dígame, Miss. Claro. In the number 11, 11. would you, mm -hmm, yes, would you, mm -hmm. would you mind telling me um, if? If, I need, if I need a reservation? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Teacher and the number two is correct. Number two, can you tell me where okay. the station the station yes? Where the station is? No, oh, and, and the number number two. two. Number Are two. you coming to the party? Can you let me know if, if you are? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. And uh, the next 
Jaime, next page. Next page. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. La number T. The number T. Ten. Ten. Excuse me. Uh, how do you get the post office from here? We don't know. <laughs> we don't know is 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 well the the correct right because um in this case tell me the, tell, sorry tell me the number number ten ten how that how do yeah. you get to the post office can you tell me how did you get the how to how how to get to the post office from here. Or how you get to the post office from here. It's missing the subject. How you? Uh, number 10? How? Yes. <laughs> you call, could you tell us how you get? How you get? You get? How, how you get? Mm -hmm. It's missing the subject. You get to the post office. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Okay. Would you mind telling me if I need a reservation? Excellent. How much does it cost? I like to know how much it costs. Perfect. Okay. All of them are correct. Okay. Wait, thanks, teacher. Anytime. Just give me a second because I'm still helping the other groups. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. Mm. Cuando ya acá está now, tiene que ser nows, o sea, ya lleva la S. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Pero sigo sin entender. Teacher no le entiendo. A todo. No a todo, no a todo, teacher. Pero sí, algunas, o sea, no, no sé cómo. Bueno, entonces usted va a ser la elegida para ahora de la sesión, de 10 minutos. No, Tiche. <risa> <risa> no me va a elegir. Sí, para explicarle. Imagínese, aquí le va a preguntar si no le entiendo casi. Sí, por eso, para que le quede clarito. No, teacher, no me va a preguntar a mí, por favor. <risa> no, no, o sea, en la sesión de los... El uno a uno. Ajá, el one on one. El one. Ay, sí, y sí, no he pasado con usted, ¿verdad? No, aún no. Teacher, pero podría pasar mañana, es que hoy no puedo. Puede ser, pero me recuerdo. Sí, teacher. Es que tengo que hacer, tengo que hacer un video después de la clase, una tarea que tengo que subir de la universidad, entonces por eso no puedo. Ah, oh, vaya, está bien. There is no problem. Teacher, la nueve, la nueve, no, 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 no le entiendo cómo. La nueve dice. Estructurarla. Does, does any know about computer? Vaya, ahí sí pueden darse cuenta, hay una palabra que dice, I wonder whether. ¿Verdad? W-H-E-T-H-E-R. Sí. Entonces, esa palabra es un sinónimo de if. Esta. Es sinónimo de if. Oh. Ajá. Solo que whether es más formal todavía. Ah, que el if. Entonces, sí, vamos a traer esta, pre esta pregunta, pero hoy tenemos que hacerla una oración normal, porque ya está acá la frase introductoria. Y diremos, lo que vamos a hacer es eliminar el auxiliar. Das. Y como es tercera persona, es an y está en el presente, tenemos que agregarle es I wonder whether or I wonder if an Annie knows about computers. And that's it. Okay. Yes, teacher. Teacher, pero lo que no me queda claro es porque eh, el, el, eh, ya sea 
El are, is, well, for me. El if. Is, no, el is, are. Ah, no, lo que, es que lo que es. Dígame, dígame. No, eh, 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 por ejemplo, en la. En la en la primera. Va, en la primera. Es que va. Uh -huh. eh, lo que tenemos que hacer es que el verbo va a ir. Para hacer una pregunta, lo que hacemos es cambiar, ¿verdad? La posición del sujeto con el verbo. Por ejemplo, where are you? Where are you from? Eh, where is the bank? Entonces, para, como lo que tenemos que hacer es pasarla de pregunta nuevamente a una oración simple. A una, a un, sí, a una oración simple. Y entonces el verbo tiene que regresar después del sujeto. Por ejemplo, esta, where, ahí está contractado el verbo. Sería where, where the station is. is. Pero ustedes lo ven extraño porque ya no hay complemento. Ya no hay más palabras acá. Where the, the station is. Si tuviéramos complemento, iría después, ya no quedaría de último. Por ejemplo, quiero ver, quiero ver. Where the station is, ahí ya. Ya tenemos, la, ya tenemos la pregunta indirecta. Porque ya tenemos acá. Can you? Can you? Aquí ya está en forma pregunta. Y no podemos tener dos preguntas en una sola oración. Um, Entonces tenemos que, tenemos que hacer esta pregunta. Sea una oración simple. Entonces tenemos que cambiar la posición del sujeto con el verbo. Por eso, where the station is. Eh, no, es que tiene, no es que tiene que quedar al final eh, de, la, de la pregunta o de la oración. Simplemente que hay ciertas oraciones que tienen eh, complemento. Por ejemplo, la número 8. Do you know what time? Ahí, ¿verdad? Ahora, ¿cuál es el sujeto? What time? You, uh, you, you living, living on. Mm -mm. Are, mm -hmm. are, are living. Living. Um, Aquí está. Aquí está en el presente continuo. Mm -hmm. What time? You are living. You are living. What time? Do you know what time you are living? Porque eh, no vamos a dejar el... el el are al final, porque cuando hablamos no decimos you are, you are living, you living are, no, ¿verdad? Decimos you are living. Porque aquí está esto, no lo podemos dejar, no lo podemos dejar antes del verbo. Tichiré las seis. Las seis. Ajá. How long does it take together? Bye. Eh, como le repito, tenemos la frase introductoria, que sería do you know. Ahí ya hay una pregunta. Do you know? Ahora nuestra misión es convertir la siguiente parte en una oración simple. Para que, esto deje, para que esto deje de ser una pregunta, tenemos que eliminar das. Para que ya deje de ser pregunta. Ahora, ¿qué le falta para que sea una oración simple? Si es tercera persona... Del presente simple, ¿qué le hacemos al verbo? Eh, le falta la S. Exacto. How long, how long it takes to get there. Do you know, sabes, cuánto toma llegar ahí? How long does it takes to get there? ¿Ya hicieron las cinco? Sí, pero a saber si estará buena. Vaya, eh, ayúdame. Vaya, ya tenemos la pregunta introductoria. Ajá. Ahora esto tenemos que convertirla a una oración simple. Entonces, ¿where? Where? 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 Vaya, y yo al final había puesto el art teacher ahí. No, porque cuando usted está, cuando, cuando suena mal, si decimos where, where you from are, tengo que hacer a convertirla a una, 
como a una oración simple, para que ya deje de ser una pregunta y podamos tener las dos. ¿Cuál les gustaría que hiciéramos ahora? La 10, teacher. La 10. I wonder if... Aquí está. No, Vaya. la 10. La I'm sorry. Excuse me. How yes. do you get to the post office from here? Vaya. Acá es una pregunta. ¿Verdad? ¿Qué sí. debemos de hacer para que ya deje de, de, de ser una pregunta? Quitar el do. Quitamos el do. ¿Agregamos ese al verbo? No. No. No porque no es tercera persona. Y si fue... Ah, bueno, aquí ya bueno. Ah. Y ya está. Could you tell me how you get to the post office from here? Vaya, vamos la once. Would you mind? Would you mind telling me? Vaya, esta es una, ya es una pregunta. Pero para que deje de ser una pregunta, ¿qué hacemos? Quitar el tú. ¿En qué tiempo gramatical está la oración? ¿Pasado? ¿Presente? Presente. 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 ¿Debemos de agregar S o S al verbo? No. No, porque no es tercera persona. Ya. Yeah. Y ahí está. Would you mind telling me? Ah, pero falta algo. If. Si necesito reservación. Would you mind telling me if I need reservation? Y che, no, eso lo había agregado. Si no sé, así, cabalito, sí la tenía. Would you mind telling me if I need reservation? Sí. Por ejemplo, en la última teacher al das, se va a quitar el das. Sí. Vamos, das. Quitamos das. Y se le agrega la S al, al verbo. Sí, ¿por qué? Porque es tercero. Es tercera. Uh -huh. Es it. Uh -huh. Y está. El número 8. Y está. 7. No, eso no. Ok, acá está la número 7. Para que sea otra, para que sea una oración normal, ¿qué debemos de hacer? Quitar el ar. No hay que quitarlo. No. Ponerlo al final. Des, lo que vamos a hacer es cambiarlo de posición. Cambia, ponerlo adelante del sujeto. Por ejemplo, what? What you, what you are. What doing. you are doing. Do you know, do you have an idea what you are doing? Porque si lo colocamos al, al final sonaría mal. Escuche. Do you have an idea what you doing are? Y al final lo había puesto teacher al ar. Pero es que eso, eso me confunde, porque en algunos se pone así, en otros no. Ah, usted se ha confundido con la número uno. Could you tell me where the station is? Ajá, o sea, ¿por qué en algunos se pone al final? Pero, sí. sucede que en, esta, en la número uno, el sujeto es station. Entonces lo hay después del sujeto. Después del sujeto. Ah. Aquí ya no agrego nada, porque ya, ya no hay tiene. más. No hay no complemento. Tiene. Ah, sí, en cambio, y en cambio claro. acá 
En cambio acá, you are. Si no estuviera esto, quedaría así, what you are. Pero hay complemento, doing. Igual que acá, what time you are. Tenemos esto. Hoy sí ya me quedó claro. Bueno. Pero mañana se tiene que quedar al two o al one on one. Sí, teacher, mañana sí me quedo. Ok. Wow. Thank you, teacher. Anytime. Vamos con... Pero sí, es bonito. Hi, hey. teacher. I think it's good. Hi, teacher. Hello. Are you done? Yes, yes. I'm done. Good. Yo dije, el teacher se salió y nos dejó a nosotros aquí en la reunión. No, 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 es que estaba, estaba revisándolo, estaba ayudando a otros compañeros. Okay. No, Con la... Is there any question? Yo Perdón. cuando estaba en tercer grado. No, Perdón, dicho, ya me dejó en visto, ya me dejó en visto. <laughs> Ignorada. I'm sorry. Ask I, couldn't, I couldn't stop. <laughs> Con la number no. nine, teacher, sí estábamos aquí peleándonos porque no sabíamos. Con la menos yo no me queda claro. El weather, teacher, ¿qué es? Weather. Es que yes. lo buscamos en... Lo buscamos en el traductor y dice ya sea o lo que sea. Uh -huh. Sí, Ajá, lo que entonces... sucede es que whether and if son sinónimos. Whether and if. Ah. Lo que sucede es que whether es más formal que if. Ah. Entonces eh, podemos eliminar lo de la oración y poner if. Si se pudiera. Sí. Ah, ok. Es lo que decía Sabrina. Me sonaba extraño el, el web. Me sonaba extraño, me sonaba que, que me pegaba con el ir. Uh -huh. Sí, lo que sucede es que casi no se... Bueno, yo casi no lo escucho que, que lo utilicen, porque es muy formal. Usualmente se utiliza if. I wonder if Annie knows okay. about computer. La okay. otra Y la otra cuestión, pero, eh, Sabrina, acerca de si él va el, el verb to be después de la persona. Ah, sí, era la. la, 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 la ah, en la number five. Seven. En oh, seven. seven. Five, seven I'd like to know where I write, I wrote, I'd like to know where you are from. I got it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'd like to know where you are from. Ajá. Sí, el verbo, tiene que ir, el verbo tiene que ir después del sujeto, en este caso, you. You are. No puede ir you from are. En unos casos que se confunden porque me dicen, es que en, porque en el mundo queda al final, pero es que en estas, por ejemplo, la número uno, eh, no, no hay complemento. ¿Qué más? Digamos, no podemos agregarle más. Por eso que queda al final. Where the station is. Si aquí, si por ejemplo aquí dijera where the, sta the station is, Place, situado. Entonces ella no queda al final, ¿verdad? Pero. Sería antes este del caso, place. Ajá, pero. Después del sujeto, pero se ha colocado al final en esto porque ya no hay más que agregar. Ok. Ok, well, I guess it's understood. ¿Y cuál otra, eh, José Mario? Creo que teníamos otra. Entonces, sí, entonces sorry, 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 please clear me the, <laughs> clear my mind. <laughs> entonces, es correcto, es correcto to say in the number five, I would like to know where you are from. Yes, correct. sir. Yeah, where okay. you are from. Okay, okay, thank you for clarifying. Anytime. Anytime. Semi similar okay. sentence is uh, number seven, you are, exactly. Do you have any idea what you are doing? Exactly. Okay, yes. it's similar. Yeah. And at number 11, uh, would you mind telling me? Uh, yo le sen sentía que me sonaba con el if. No What sé number? Si. 11. 11. I need mm -hmm. a reservation. Would you oh. mind telling me if I need ah. a reservation? Ajá, uh -huh. con el if. 
que no lo veía, I need a reservation. Ajá. Sí, sí, porque yo lo escribí con el if. Y, y yo creo que Daniel lo había escrito con el how. How I need. Ajá, no. no. How, to, how I get. Ahí está, ahí está Daniel. Ajá, ajá, ajá aquí estoy. Con el if, con el if, Daniel. How Let would you tell say, me no. if I need a reservation? I would like, if I need a reservation. Ah, ok. Pero, like but si usted yes. escribió how I get a, how I get a reservation, so también suena bien. How I yes. get a reservation. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo consigo una reservación? Uh, I think, but are you agree with me? <laughs> I agree. Okay, thank you. But that's clear. We, we can select a different form to say, I think. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay. Con Sabrina, con Sabrina hay que discutir bastante para ponerse ah, de acuerdo, sí. la verdad. Ah, sí. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Ok, safe for your time. Ok, well, it, it was a long activity because I was discussing with your classmate and trying to clarify the doubts that you might have with the exercises. So we're going to share a screen. Okay, if you want to be volunteer and if you have any question, let me know, please. Okay, who wants to share a screen? Okay, this is, uh, si existe alguna duda, ok, adelante. Y si me ayudan compartiendo pantalla con las oraciones. Me, me and lady. Teacher. Ok, thank you, Mr. Jaime. Ok. Number one. Number one. Can you tell me? Ok, read them, please. Read them. Where is the station? Could you tell me where the station is? Excellent. And number two, are you coming to the party? Can you let me know if you are coming to the party? Perfect, excellent. And number three, how does it work? Can you explain how it works? Excellent. And number four, what is the problem? Please tell me what the problem is. Perfect. Number five, where are where are you from? I'd I'd like I'd like to know where from where you from are. Mm, okay. Uh, are it is after you. After you. You are from. Exactly. Where you are from. Okay. Thank you. And number six, how long does it take to get there? Do you, Do you know? know how long it takes to get there? Perfect. Good. Okay. Next one, lady. Can yes. you read? What are you doing? Do you have any idea what you doing are? Okay, let me see. And this in this case, what you are doing? Are doing. Exactly. Okay. okay. What? Okay. What you are doing? Exactly. Self correction. That is important. Okay. And number eight. What time are you leaving? Do you know what time you are, are. leaving? Exactly. Okay. Oh. Number nine. Does any know about computers? I wonder whether any knows about computers. Number 10, Sorry. excuse me, how do you get to the post office from here? Excellent. Could, could you tell me us how you get to the post office from here? 11. 11, do I need a reservation? Would you mind tell me if I need a reservation? Excellent. And number 12, how much does it 
it costs. I like to know how much it costs. Excellent, very good, okay. Maybe uh, we were a little bit confusing with you are living, okay, well, you are from, mm -hmm. but uh, you got self-correction, autocorrección, very good. Okay, so, okay. excellent, okay. Thank you, thank you, sir. Very good, congratulations. So here we have these exercises with the, let me see, with the indirect question. Okay, we're going to keep practicing because practice is very important. So I'm going to share with you this link. This link, let me know if we can open the link, please. Yes, I can. Good. All right, with that exercise, you will, um, practice the indirect questions, indirect questions. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, here we go. This will be a little bit, this will be faster. Alicia, Alicia. Alicia. <laughs> uh, what Hello, Alicia. Luis, go Alicia. Hello. 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 Um, could you tell me how it works? Yeah. I'll share the screen. Oh. Okay. Okay. Where is it? Easy. Okay. okay. Could you is, tell is me? The first one is easy. Could yes. you tell me where the, the station is? Or uh, the The station is. The station, see. Okay, the station is. The second one. The second one. Do you let coming. me know if, if you are coming to the party? And leave. Me, me suena, pero no sé si lo lleva. Uh, yes. Sí, sí, con el leave. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, with you. The party. Mm -hmm. Next. Could you tell me how how it works? Works. How works. it works. Yeah. Yeah, because it's a auxiliary. Okay. Next, Do Lucy, you know? been to Mexico. Do you know if Do you know if, I need to present the if Lucy if Lucy have been to Mexico. I, I think, but I know. Do you know? Has Lucy been to Mexico? If Lucy, do you know? Has been has been to Mexico. Yes. If if uh, Lucy has been yes has been to Mexico. Okay, next. Uh, does your brother live in Argentina? Can you tell me? 
teacher. <laughs> Cuando el verbo está... ¿Cómo sería aquí? Been, porque dice la pregunta, has Lucy been to Mexico? Entonces sería, do you, do you know Lucy? If. If. Do you know? En la, en la, 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 what for teacher? Yeah, okay. Do you know if subject? ¿Cuál es el sujeto? Si Lucy. Cuatro. Ok. Si Lucy. Ahora el presente perfecto en afirmación. Lucy. Lucy's. Ahí está. Ahí está. El, el auxiliar sería. Has participio. Bean. Bean. Complemento. To Mexico. Hey, Sam. Do you know if Lucy has been to Mexico? Ah, en este caso no tendríamos que quitar el has. But... No. Solo do er, y does. Solo do y does es el que se quita. Ah, y did. Thank you, teacher. Marcos. Hola. La cinco sería, can you tell me your brother, your brother lives. Se le agrega el S, ¿verdad? El sí. verbo. Uh -huh. Lives. Lives in, in Argentina. Uh -huh. Lleva el tú. What? Uh -huh. I, I think so, do you know, if Lucy has been... Así, Lucy, uh, yes, uh, ok. I think it's good, yes, good it's, but I'm not sure. Yes, I think it's um, yes, but when? Next one. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Does your brother Does live you in Argentina? Can, can you, you tell, tell me if? If, 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 if your brother live um, lives live, live in Argentina, yeah, Argentina. Mm -hmm. Oh, tal vez, tal vez era en esa parte quizás. Where where your brother lives? No, no, because no. Uh, it, the first sentence is can you tell me? I think. Mm -hmm. Where your yeah. brother lives? And sentence five. I is, think it's good. It, okay. Is the, the question is do you do you, do your brother live in in Argentina? And if the change is For in the, the, in the, the question. Uh -huh, yeah. Is if yes. your yes. brother lives. Okay. okay. The next. Okay. Next How one. Long How long does it take to get there? To get there. Mind get tell there. me. How long it takes. It it How long it takes. Mm -hmm. Get there. I don't know. It takes. 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 To get there. To, to get, get there. there. 
to get there. Uh, okay, how long it takes to get there? Seven. What are you doing? Uh, do you mind tell me? Tell me? What? What you are doing? What you are doing, yes. Uh, what you are, are doing. Doing, okay, next. Could you tell me what, what your, your mail address is? Yes. Uh, yeah. Good. Is. What your email is? No address. Yes. What your email address is? Okay. What your email address? Address is number nine. Do you know what? What your husband drinks? What your husband drinks? What your husband drinks? Uh huh. Drinks for breakfast. <laughs> we finish. You're done. Very good. Yes. The first group. Ah, but here we have Miss Lady, Mr. Angel, Mr. Jose Rene. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> because the other group they are struggling some of them but just give me some minute because I'm still checking the rest of the groups okay okay teacher I guess you already understood it, this topic good No tengo mouse. Ajá, es, es solamente el. Vaya, sí, es que aclaremos. Teacher, no se asuste cuando dice siete de diez. Ya le vamos a explicar qué fue lo que sucedió. Okay. Fueron errores de digitación. First, Sabrina, explain the, the ah. first. The okay. first question. In the first, in the first, where the station is, we add the. ¿Cómo se llama? Sign Put the, mark. the sign mark. Sign mark. No. Question, mark, question mark. Question mark. We, we wrote the question mark. Yes. Baja y baje por favor, please. If you're, we forget to write the word brother. brother. Yeah, I see. <laughs> brother, no, brother and the last one, I think, is what your email address we didn't write uh one double d. d we just exactly. write one d okay uh, refresh the page <laughs> now you can take that revenge <laughs> okay <laughs> Yo les dije, mire, teacher, teacher, teacher ellos, de, ellos dijeron que lo volvieron a hacer, yo no hay que ser honesto y decirle que nos humilla por la que nos equivocamos. Que nos restriguen la cara ahí entre en el público, dijo Sabrina. No, no, la intención es que aprendamos. Ok, ok. You tell me. Could you, you, you let me know? Entonces, todas le salieron buenas. Eh, no, o sea, por eso, como hay unas que no las puse. Por eso me, me salieron. <risa> Pero cabal, o sea, de la, de la dos es la que faltó, como, como decíamos, if. La cuatro era if Lucy has been to Mexico, la que hicimos con teacher. Ah. De ahí las cinco, that your brother live in, in Argentina, igual, if your brother lives in Argentina. 
teacher porque la última salió mala. O sea, yo creo que la puse bien. Can you share a screen because uh -huh. I can see the Share, no sé compartir. Tiene que darle, está de su celular o desde la computadora. La computadora, dicho. Right. En la barra le tiene que aparecer un botoncito verde que dice compartir pantalla. Cuando, cl cuando cliquean, dice compartir pantalla, se
Okay, and then we have buttons here. Well, we're going to continue with the reading. Okay, page 27. Page 27. And it says, three man managers are three managers are in a meeting to discuss the production process of a new shampoo. Read the conversation and take turn practicing. Okay, and it says, I wonder if you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have. I have. Thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I'll like us to, revi to revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start produ producing our new, our new shampoo. Right. I'll, I'll like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course, let me revise my files. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around, I need him to clarify what the, re the revision step is about. Okay, this is uh, here you can use or you can read the use of a uh, indirect questions. Indirect question. Okay, so we have I wonder. Este verbo se utiliza para, eh, por ejemplo, Eh, para decir, me pregunto, me preguntaba. I wonder. I wonder. Okay. Eh, let me see. What else? Quality control. Do you know what quality control is? Quality control. Is a, I think it's a, a, a step of, of review. Exactly. Review. Excellent. Refresh steps. Refresh. Uh, check, check the product. Good. Okay, excellent. All right. Uh, let me see. Also, we have manager. Do you know what manager, production manager is? Production manager. Gerente de? Production. production. Excellent. Excellent. Manager, production. Okay, files. Do you know what files are? Archivos. Archivos, documentos. Okay, files. Perfect. Let me see. You know what shampoo? Yes, right. Shampoo. Uh, let me see. Um, steps. Steps. Passos. Passos. Passos, very good. Steps, passos. Good. Uh, analysis. How about analysis? To analyze. A product, to analyze. You know, a laboratory, some laboratory. Uh, good. You know, samples. To check. Perfect. Okay. Let me see. Okay, process is also we already study. Okay, well, I guess it is clear the conversation between Lucia, Martha, and Greg. All right, well, now this conversation is very easy. So we're going to practice in trios. In trios. Okay, one student will be Lucia, another student will be Martha, and another will be Greg. Try to switch all the characters of the reading.
Hold on, please. Okay. We're going to practice. We're going to practice with our classmates now. <laughs> the teacher is here. Okay, you teacher, are. You are teacher, only and... Alexis and me. Yes, sir, because there are some we're missing people. Okay. Okay. In, in this case, if we will practice. I will be Lucia, Alexis. I start yeah. first. Okay. I wonder if you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, I thank have, you, Lucia. Pero que hay tres personas aquí. Continue. Yes, continue. You are Lucia in, in Grefg too. Yes, no, Lucia so is have, speaking a lot. Of, for, for this case, I will speak a lot. Um, Good Mr. evening, Carlos. But ah. I don't have the the book in this moment. Ah, okay. Entonces, <laughs> we start again. Okay. Daniel is Lucia. Marta is Marta. Estela. Estela is Marta. Estela is Marta and me, Greg. And someone can share the. A screenshot to read the conversation because I don't have the book. Mm. Let me check. I would like us to revise the step to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Why? I would like to know if the quality control step shall be repeated once the product is finished. 
the first time. Kenny, you are Lucia. Uh, I am Marta, and you are Greg. Okay, okay. I am Greg. I wonder. You start, Kenny. Okay. I wonder if you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have. Thank you. I have. Thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I like to revive. Uh, how do you say oh. Revise. Yep. To verify that we are ready to start producing our, our new shampoo. Right. I like to know. I like to know if the quality control step should be repaired once the product is finished. Yeah, that's good point. That yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, will you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? I. Oh, of course. Let me revise my my files. Greg, could you could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. I wonder if you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process. that should be repeated, I think. Yes, and ah, only yes. two steps. Yes, mention that two, mm -hmm. two steps. And number three say, what did Gret suggest about the production process? Mm -hmm. Maybe about Gret, mm -hmm. yeah, right. I would like to know if the quality control steps should be repeated once the product is finished. Uh, yes. I think it's about that. It's talking about mm -hmm. about that. Is... Yes. I like to know with the quality control. Oh. Yes. Greg. Uh -huh. Hi. Greg, could you find could you find out, out if the production manager is around? I need him to cl clarify go, go to like, clarify. Clarify what the uh, yes. mm -hmm, re, 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 revision, revision revision step is about. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Could you find out? Find out if the production. Very good. Fine. We finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
Okay, well, uh, I listened to some of your classmates practicing. Good job. However, we don't have enough time to continue. Okay, with the class, it's almost over. So I will take the attendance list. Okay, so during this class, we practice a lot the uh, indirect questions. So I'm going to start taking the attendance list. Tomorrow, we're going to read the conversation. So we have Benitez Ventura. Present teacher. Joaquin Martinez. Thank you, Miss. Present teacher. Lopez Perez. Present teacher. Florentino Garcia. Present teacher. Alvarez Mejia. Miranda Rodriguez. Abelar Present. Cortez. Present. Valdez Gomez. Here. Barria. Thank you, Mister. Present. Merino Gonzalez. Ramirez Arevalo. Present. Present. Ramirez, Ramirez Arevalo. Present. Thank you. Cuellar de Barrientos. Ventura de Valdez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Um, Alicia Gertrudis. Present. Camilla Jurado. Present, teacher. Good. Mancia Gutierrez. Present, teacher. Cornejo Erazo. Vázquez Romero. Present, teacher. Nice man. Flores Hernández. Present, teacher. García Orellana. Present. Vázquez. Thank you. Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Gómez García. Present teacher. Orellana del Cid. All right, well, it's time Present to- Present teacher, I'm sorry. Ah, okay. Eh, Orellana del Cid. Yes. Okay, good. Well, it's time. So see you tomorrow, God willing. So good night, take care, and see you later. Okay, okay. good night. Good night. Okay. Good night. See you later. Bye bye. See you later. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.